This time last week, Kristen Inu was a warrior. But thanks to a string of injuries to Canterbury's outside backs, he now found himself sporting the blue and white and had the potential to form a lethal backfield combination with another attacking ace called Ben Barber. The Sydney Roosters boasted their own spearhead though, and it was the New South Wales number seven. Takes them on, there was a huge hole. And the New South Wales halfback, and Roosters playmaker puts them in front here tonight. The match wasn't even 13 minutes old when the enigmatic Inu gave the Bulldogs an initial return on their mid-season investment. To Inu, who reaches out. Canterbury claimed back-to-back -back four pointers when Sam Cassiano crashed through. Running over the top of Pierce, there's no stopping Cassiano. However, his fellow forward Frank Pritchard had strayed into the path of two defenders, technically resulting in an obstruction, which didn't sit too well with Michael Ennis. He doesn't dive in and hold someone up, mate. He's got to get out of there. That's there. The dog's leader would have been even more livid when Anthony Minicello snuck through soon after. Minicello, the veteran, dives in. You could call it a 12-point turnaround. The dog's denied. The Roosters are in. It's 10 points to four. Given his well-known standing as an ex-eel, Inu had the task of winning over the Bulldogs' army. And this was a pretty good way to do it. In his astonishing aerial feat, earned the green light this time from the man upstairs, Paul Mellor, and ignited a late first half flurry from Des Hasler's men. The new kid on Canterbury's block proved his worth with the boot as well. And that was all that separated these two bitter rivals at the break. The Bulldogs up 14-12. And they had Barber to thank for preserving that slender advantage early in the second term as he firstly wrestled the ball free from his opposite Minicello, then did a similar rescue job after Pierce pounced on an intercept. Pierce stepping, Barber wraps him up and he might have stolen the ball. He did! And then Pierce takes him in a touch after the tackle was completed. With this compelling contest in the balance, Inu decided it was time to act. And Asta argued with referee Robinson that the play the ball was illegal and replays showed he may have had a case. But the try stood and Canterbury kicked on to snare another one almost five minutes later. Stag is there! Nobody at home for the Roosters! Needing two converted tries to level left the try colours taking risks and this one backfired badly. Orbison doesn't get a kind bounce. Right it up. There's nobody in front of him. Friend is chasing. Wright finished the first half with a try. He might finish it tonight with this try. So with 26 straight points, Canterbury careered to an impressive win at Allianz Stadium and it was largely thanks to their recently acquired magic man on the flank. David Rollins, Big Pond Sport. Watch exclusive NRL videos on your mobile with the 2012 NRL iPhone app. Download it now for free at the App Store.